It's a gorgeous day here at Bush Gardens, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to enjoy the Sky Ride. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Florida theme parks have to offer plus size people and people with mobility, accessibility, cognitive, and sensory concerns. And in this video, I will let you know everything you need to know to enjoy this ride fully. Let's try the ride. Now, even though the Sky Ride is a really calm, simple ride, there are some regulations for the ride that you need to be aware of. Any young guests under 56 inches tall need to be accompanied by someone 14 years old or older on this ride. The ride vehicle is a little bit enclosed and you are up in the air, so if you have issues with claustrophobia or if you're afraid of heights, this ride might not be for you. ECBs and wheelchairs are allowed in this queue, but you cannot take an ECB on to the vehicle. Check about wheelchairs, but I think you also need to be able to transfer from your wheelchair into the vehicle as well. If you have an ECB, you have to leave it at the Sky Ride Station, go on the entire ride, come back, and then you'll be able to pick up your ECB on your return. I am just spotting a very interesting sign I've never seen in a theme park before. It says, cutting in line is cause for dismissal from the park without refund. That's not a sign I've ever seen in any of the Florida theme parks so far. It's interesting, I wonder how they enforce it. I don't see any hosts or hostesses in the queue. Maybe they watch you from cameras. It looks like only folding strollers are allowed on the Sky Ride. Here's some information about loading capacity. You can have three guests up to 56 inches or taller per gondola. And if you have a fourth guest, they must be under 56 inches in height. Okay, the recorded overhead message just said that wheelchairs are not allowed on this ride, but I have seen people with walkers and rollators that were folded up and with canes. So it looks like you can take some smaller mobility devices, but not a wheelchair, not an ECB. And the only type of stroller you can take on is one you can fold up. Based on what I'm seeing here, each of the Sky Ride stations does require you to disembark when you arrive at it. But if you want to, you can get out and then get back in line to go back the other direction. Oh no, there's a turnstile. Let's see if I can make it through this without any problems. Here we go. Okay, that was easy. I just uh, turned myself a tiny bit sideways and made it through without any issues with that turnstile. You can see elephants from up here. This is fantastic. I love it. You kind of get a little bit of a behind the scenes view of the animal habitats up here as well. That's kind of interesting. There's some more animals. You get a bird's eye view of the Serengeti out there. And here we are coming up on the station really, really quickly. Let's see how smooth this is. far so good, nice and easy. Here's where we might have a little bit of roughness. Let's check it out. <laughs> a little bit of a bobble. Well, that looks like it was just a substation where um, you make a turn, so it was a turn station. 
it wasn't actually where we disembarked so the ride seems to be a couple of minutes longer than I thought it was and it looks like we're gonna enjoy even more cool stuff and great views. Yeah, this is pretty spectacular. It's such a gorgeous day for it too. There's a great view of Stanley Falls log flume ride. Okay, this is where we actually get off. Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Great, thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As you can see, two team members will steady the cart for you to help you step off. It looks like there's a small step up and a small step down. Not too bad, not too bad at all. That was a really nice fun ride. Now, I had the option of getting back in line over here and getting back on and going back to where I started off at. But I think I'm actually gonna see if I can wander over and try some rides in this area. I was able to confirm that, yes, you can park your ECV just off to the side of the ride. You can park your wheelchair there, but you can't bring it onto the gondola. You have the option of either walking back, taking the train to the other station, or getting back in line and traveling the Skyrider back to get your ECV or wheelchair. Smaller mobility devices like canes, walkers, and rollators that can fold up are allowed on the gondola. If you're finding the information in this video very helpful, consider subscribing to the channel and also supporting the channel by joining my Patreon page, which you can find a link for down below in the description of this video. Your monthly contributions allow me to continue to make wonderful, helpful videos that will help you and your family make the most of your trips. Now don't go away just yet. I have a playlist of Bush Gardens videos for you to enjoy as you plan your trip. And until the next time I see you, remember this. Life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.